There was a study done, and it was, um, I think it was a Canadian uh, scientist. And what the study concluded was that bodybuilders compared to the average person who say doesn't work out, I think it was in the study like a sedentary person. So bodybuilders have five times the anterior deltoid development, three times the lateral deltoid development, and only 10 to 15% more rear deltoid development than someone who doesn't lift weights. So think about that. The average bodybuilder only has 10 to 15% more rear deltoid development than a sedentary person. Now, when I say bodybuilder, um, I'm pretty sure in the study they weren't measuring, you know, like Mr. Olympia competitors. They're just measuring people who have, say, like, are regular gym goers who lift weights. So I thought this is a really interesting topic because I think the one muscle group that will help anyone look astronomically better, if all you did was improve your shoulders, I think that would be the single biggest thing that you could do to improve your physique. And to prove this, I was playing around in this app and I took an old picture of myself when I had really skinny shoulders, I think I was about two years into working out. And all I did, look at this difference, all I did was basically double the size of my shoulders and I did not increase the size of any other muscle group. And I actually look pretty fucking swole just with wider shoulders. Now, why is this? It's because we're kind of programmed to look in terms of proportions. In fact, we were in, we were in vacation in Mexico and I saw this kid who was really skinny but he kind of looks swole at the same time because he had wide lats and he had wide shoulders. Now, I didn't always have good shoulder development and there is something that I've realized that I've correlated to my shoulder development that I did five years ago. And I went through like a three month stretch at the gym where I would do this for about five to, I think five to six sets at the start of every single workout. And what I did is I would, uh, first of all, I'd wear straps I'd grab a really heavy pair of dumbbells and I would basically shrug walk. I'd call them like farmer's walk with the trap emphasis. I'm sure you guys have seen them. If you follow me on Instagram, um, I posted about it a few times. I posted about this in another video. But before I started doing this, I did not have good shoulder development. Before I get into the actual superset that I did with these farmer's walks, there is slow twitch and there's fast twitch muscle fibers, right? So what this means is fast twitch muscle fibers are going to respond best to say like heavy training, explosive lifting. Well, the rear deltoids are really what gives your shoulders that 3D look. And the rear deltoids are a lot more slow twitch dominant than other muscle groups. So if the rear deltoids are more slow twitch dominant, that means that we need to train them with more time under tension, higher rep sets. So this could be anywhere from, you know, 15, 20 rep sets. Now, another problem with the rear deltoid training that I think a lot of you guys are having is you're initiating your rear deltoid movements with your traps and with your rhomboids. In fact, the rear deltoids are a really tough muscle group to uh, kind of like isolate if you're not an experienced lifter. So I've always, I thought, had really good mind-muscle connection in my chest and really good mind-muscle connection in my deltoids, especially my rear deltoid. In fact, I can pretty much isolate that like massive pump feeling directly in my rear deltoids. I'm doing four specific exercises that I'm gonna talk about in a second that I want you guys to do. So I really, um, I've always had a great pump in my chest and my, and my shoulders when I train. In fact, much better than my biceps and my triceps. And if you look at my overall physique, I would say that my delts and my chest are probably my two strongest muscle groups. So going back to what I did a couple years ago, I think it was five years ago to be exact, I would grab these heavy dumbbells and I would walk around the gym. I'd just like pace back and forth like a madman for like 30 to 40 seconds. And by the end of this, my shoulders literally felt like they're gonna fall off. It is the most intense shoulder pump you can possibly do to actually shrug intense your deltoids while you are uh, walking around with heavy dumbbells. And then to top it off, I would do this. I would actually take really light dumbbells and I would do a standing rear delt row. So after basically pre-fatiguing with heavy overload and a lot of time under tension, I would actually take lighter dumbbells and then I would continue to pump out another 10 to 20 reps. Just doing that, just 
enjoy that. Imagine how much more direct time under tension I'm applying on my rear deltoids compared to the average person who's just going in the gym and they're thinking they're hitting every single muscle group, but they're really not. So the big takeaway from this video is you got to increase your frequency and you got to do higher rep and you got to really not ego lift with your rear deltoids. In fact, you got to make sure that you're not initiating the movement with your, um, with your rhomboids or your traps. Okay, so here's a takeaway. I want to give you guys an actionable step every video. So if your shoulders are lacking, you know you just don't have that boulder shoulder, that 3D deltoid look. What you want to do is three times per week, either the start or the end of your workout, I recommend the start so you have maximum energy, grab a pair of heavy dumbbells. You're going to walk around your gym. You're going to tense your shoulders back. So try to also feel it in your rear deltoid as you do the shrug walks. You're gonna do that for 30 to 40 seconds, and then right after, you're gonna grab a light pair of dumbbells, like literally grab 10 12.5 pound dumbbells, really light dumbbells, do another 10 to 20 reps. And then three other exercises I want you to implement into your rear deltoid routine are um, the rope face pull. This is another exercise usually done wrong. So with this one, you're going to almost mimic a uh, front double bicep as you come up. In fact, I, have, I don't think I've seen anyone do this exercise properly at the gym before. Um, everyone does this wrong. So you're not pulling into like your neck or your chin area. You're pulling into your forehead and you're ending the movement like at the top of the rep, it's gonna end into a front double bicep. Now, if you guys are having trouble getting mind muscle connection, I recommend doing band face pulls. In fact, you can do this as a great uh, warm up too before every single workout to bring up lagging rear delts. So the band face pull, once again, lean back and mimic that front double bicep motion. So actually like think about bringing uh, the band right to your forehead and that's gonna allow you to activate your rear deltoid muscles a lot better. And then um, also you can do the reverse pec fly. Uh, the reverse pec fly is an awesome exercise for rear deltoid development. And then of course we have the dumbbell rear delt row, both seated and standing variation are gonna be phenomenal on your rear deltoids. So obviously, uh, deltoids are more slow twitch, especially rear. Higher rep schemes really focus on light, not ego lifting. And you guys are going to have a lot of success. So anyways, guys, I'm going to link to the balloon method deltoid workout that is very rear deltoid focused as well. Um, it was actually the very first balloon method workout I filmed on this channel. So I'm going to link to that right now. And if you guys are new here, um, definitely tap that notification bell and subscribe because I'm going to give you guys a brand new balloon method workout. And if you don't know what that is, it's the fastest way for naturals to build any muscle group because it's going to maximize the three ways our body builds muscle scientifically. So it's an incredible way to train. It was invented right here on this channel. So we're going to have a different balloon method workout for every single muscle group every 30 days. So tap that notification bell. Make sure you guys like this video. My throat is getting very dry from talking for 10 minutes straight. So I'm gonna see you guys on the next video.